Okay, hi guys. Today we're going to be doing a Rosalie Hale inspired look from the movie Twilight, New Moon, and coming up, um, Eclipse and Breaking Dawn. So yeah, she's kind of, I see as a pinup girl, you know, kind of like everyone else says, pinup kind of old Hollywood look. So, I went ahead and prepped my eye with my Too Faced eyeshadow insurance. Looks like that. And first I'm going to be taking, it's kind of a bubblegum pink shimmer really light. It's my color concept palette. It's right up here. It looks kind of white in the camera. But it's a really light pink. And then take that with my fluffy blending brush. Looks like this. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. It's going to give me a nice pink tone to my eye, which is a really pretty color. And it's also going to help to smooth out all the colors of my eye into one single color. I guess I could probably zoom you guys in now, couldn't I? Okay. I don't know if I zoomed in too much to the point where it's not going to focus. Alright. So, okay, I applied the pink everywhere. Next, I'm going to be taking from MAC, it's called a Wedge. Looks like this. I'm going to take a blending brush, a clean one, and I'm going to just put this into my crease just to give my eyes some depth because I don't want a dark crease. This is a very, you know, 40s, 30s pinup look. So it's just to give the eye a little bit of depth without putting too much color down. I use Wedge a lot for a lot of my natural looks. Bella Swan, they use this actually on her in the movie, <coughs> Chris Stewart. Um, so yeah, it's a really pretty natural look, like that. Next, I'm going to do my eyeliner. For this, I would say to use a liquid liner or a gel liner if you're more comfortable with gel, but I wouldn't use a pencil. This is, like I said, a throwback to the old Hollywood. They always had straight, crisp lines. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to start in the middle of my eye. Slowly drawing it outwards. And I'm kind of making it into a dramatic wing on the outer corner. I don't know if you guys can see. And liquid liner isn't that hard to work with, it just takes practice. Just like any other, any kind of makeup. Once you get used to it, it's not hard at all. And it really helps to enhance looks like this. Just gonna look in the mirror to make sure they're both pretty even. So you don't want one side winged out more or less than the other. It'll look kind of funky. So next, I'm going to be taking from MAC my Cool Eyes Pleats Palette. This is called... I believe it's called... Whoa. Um, Fine Shell. And it's this silver, silvery, shimmery, um, silver color right there. I'm going to take a small, small brush like this, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid in small little strokes, not to get too much color on there, just mainly to get the sparkle with a little bit of the silvery tint. Focusing more of the color right above the eyeliner. It's also going to help the eyeliner to pop. I 
apply a little bit in the inner corner of your eye. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this up under my eyebrow. And I'm going to take my blending brush and just kind of blend out that harsh line. Like that. And I'm also going to take my eyebrow pencil. Normally when I do eyebrows, I do um, eyeshadow. So it looks more natural. But in the 40s, they had very like standout eyebrows. So I kind of see Rosalie having that type of look. Then I'm going to take my eyebrow brush and just comb that through. Like so. Next, I'm going to be taking my mascara, which is my Great Lash in Very Black. You can um, curl your lashes if you want to before you do this stuff. Also, falsies would be really, really perfect. They used to wear a lot of them back then. Um, I kind of see Rosalie having eyelashes that would look just like a huge false um, eyelashes. I didn't go to the store to get falsies. I forgot when I was there to actually get them. So this look is not going to have them, but I actually envisioned the look with false lashes. So, not like the costumey ones, but like the natural looking ones. Okay, like that. Um, no liner on the bottom, this is purely just to accentuate the top of the eye. Next I'm going to take my taupe colored pencil, like this, and I'm going to line my lips. Making sure to greatly define the cupid's brow. Cupid's bow while I'm with my brain. And you can use a red um, lip pencil if you'd like. I like the way the brown looks with the color I'm going to be using over it. So I use the brown to kind of plump up the lips a little bit. And I shade in here in here okay so those are the areas that I shade with my little stick and then for the color I'm going to be using a wine shimmer this is all May Ideal Gloss it's just a kind of a peachy not even peachy it's a wine red it's not a bright bright red but it is still in the red family um, which is why I like it Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. But yeah, this is my Rosalie Hale look from the Twilight movie. This is how I would have been seeing her looking. Um, so yeah, any comments, questions, let me know. And uh, please subscribe and rate my videos, and I'll be back soon. I wanna wake up where you are.